Black people, yes, black people, all you black people from coast to coast, and you black women as well, y'all saying, pay attention because this is for you too. You are not except black women. You black men and you black women. This is for you, so pay attention. Will you let the white man have his land? I know a lot of people say, well, this ain't the white man's land. They stole his land. Well, they stole it and they got it. Do you not know that we connived the white man out of his birthright? Do you see the white man, you know what I'm saying, trying to get his birthright back? No, he's just trying to kill the people that has the birth. Oh, damn, I'm too damn good. I'm too damn good. You see, a lot of people cannot debate me because, you know what I'm saying, I speak the real, the real. You know what I'm saying? You, let me tell you something. I'm a, let's say that again. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. Let the white man have his land. Bill Maher is a progenitor of the white man. This is his land. He stole it fair and square. Let him have his land. Why are we worrying about singing an anthem in the white man's land? You know what I'm saying? We was brought over here as slavery for disobeying our God. We are slaves. If any nigger or nigger woman tell you that they are free, guess what? They are the ones that are dumb dumbs. They are the ones that are retarded. Because if you think you're free in the white man's land, <laughs> Then you, let me tell you something. The best way to keep a slave, you make that slave think he's free. So you give that slave some type of sense of freedom. He'll work harder for your country, for his country. He'll work harder for his country. He'll work harder for you. If, if you think he's free, if he think he's free and make him feel comfortable. Give him New Year's. He can get drunk and, and watch the ball drop and all that other stuff. But let me tell you something. You gotta understand, people. You know what I'm saying? We started it. <laughs> and damn sure we are going to finish it. We started it. You know what I'm saying? The white man. You know what I'm saying? Come in from hunting all day. He was hunting all day long. Hunting lions, tigers, and bears. Then he comes into the house where the nigger was. Who's the nigger, people? Who's the nigger? Jacob. Jacob was the nigger. He was in the house mixing up some stew, you know what I'm saying? Mixing up, mixing up some gumbo. And here comes the white man. Comes in the house and says, um, I'm hungry. I'm about to die. I've been out hunting all day. Ain't that like Esau? Ain't that like the white man? Goes to other countries and hunt people down all day long. You know what I'm saying? Goes and, you know what I'm saying? Look for weapons of mass destruction and goes and try to take other people's resources in other people's country. That's what the white man do today. He was doing the same thing back then. So he came in, you know what I'm saying? The black man, Jacob, was like, yo, you know what I'm saying? I want to eat this, you know what I'm saying? Let me give me some of that. The black man, the nigga, say, yo, they ain't done yet. Look, the blood's still coming out. The white man, as nasty and dusty as he is, he can say, I don't care. I'm about to die if I don't eat nothing, put nothing in my stomach. So give me that red meat with the blood running out to this day. Who's the majority of people that eat meat medium rare? It's not us. It's them. You see what I'm saying? So... Jacob said, okay, you want it? You know what I'm saying? To this day, sell me your birthright, yo. Sell me your birthright, and I'll give you this red meat. So, actually, we didn't steal it from him. You know what I'm saying? The white man voluntarily gave it up because he thought he was going to die if he just go one day without eating. So, the white man said, you know what? Here, take this. What good is, what good is this birthright going to do me if I'm dead? So he gave the black man, the nigga, the birthright. And guess what? The black man gave him the red meat. And to this day, the white man ain't never asked for his birthright back. He just wanted to kill the people with the birthright. And to this day, he is doing a good job destroying the people with the birthright. So I say it like this. You got your birthright. 
You got the keys to the kingdom, black man, black woman. Never mind what the fuck the white man is doing. Never mind what the fuck the white man, you know what I'm saying, his national anthem. Let him keep his national anthem. You know what I'm saying? Yours is a lot. Your kingdom is coming and your kingdom is a lot better than everybody's on this earth. On this earth, your kingdom is a lot better. If you just wait, hold on. Like the song said, hold on, hold on. A change is coming, change is coming. Hold on, hold on, a change is coming. Hold, if you hold on, hold fast to the faith. Keep these laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. And watch the change come. And watch you be heavily glorified in the kingdom of the Most High. You don't want this kingdom. Let him have it. You know what I'm saying? Let him have his national anthem. You know what our national anthem should be? The same thing that we were singing on the plantation. When we were picking cotton and we looked up and we see them damn chariots. We see them damn UFOs or we see them damn chariots. You know what a chariot is. You know what a UFO is, right? That is a, 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 the, the vehicles that the angels of the Lord ride in. That's what that is. When we see them, we said, swing low, sweet chariot. Coming forth to carry us home. Home where? It's sure enough not America. But yet you niggas want to make America your damn home. You too busy trying to get, you too comfortable in this land. Stop. You can't be comfortable in this land and think you're going to get the most high God kingdom. Can't be comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Let them have it. And all them other idiots who sold they sold out to have this land, to have their piece of Esau's kingdom, let them have it. You got something greater. You got something greater, black women, black men. You got something damn greater. Wake up. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. You know what I'm saying? The, uh, the Bill Maher talking about, you know what I'm saying, segregation and, you know what I'm saying, the national anthem. You know what I'm saying? I did a full news report on that. It's on the podcast. You want to check out that news report that I did. It's on the podcast. I got the podcast link in the description box below. Click on the link in the description box below. That'll take you to the podcast. You can v view the whole uncut version. The uncut news report on Bill Maher and the Black National Anthem and White National Anthem. It's right there. You know what I'm saying? While you're over on that podcast, make sure you hit that follow button. Oh, don't forget, if you want to donate to this ministry, you want to donate, you know what I'm saying? The Cash App link is in the description box below. The Cash App link is in the description box below. You know what I'm saying? $1, 50 cent, 25 cent, damn, 10 cent. Shit, motherfucker. Oh, I'm thinking I'm on a podcast. I can't talk the way I want to talk on this YouTube channel because you all say YouTube trying to censor me, but the podcast is uncensored. So if you want to hear uncensored, it's on the podcast. The podcast link in the description box below. Check out the whole complete report, you know what I'm saying, on the podcast. You know what I'm saying? The podcast link in the description box below. I want to thank you all for tuning in logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour right here on Illuminati Radio. I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. Touch on your notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop this breaking news on you. Make sure you hit that like button. Very crucial. Hit that like button. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.